Can you name this song? Be My Baby, which was released by the Ronettes in 1963. And in today's quiz, we'll be working our way through 60 years of songs, starting in 1964, all the way up to 2023. Play just to guess the song, or song title, and artist as well. But bear in mind, this isn't a quiz of all the most successful songs of each year, so there will be some tricky ones included that cover a range of genres, as well as, obviously, generations. But I'm sure there's still plenty you'll recognise and get a good score. But before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe for a bonus point. Good luck! Oh, when the sun beats down and burns the tar up on the roof. Starting with Under the Boardwalk by The Drifters, which had multiple covers over the years with versions by Rolling Stones, Tom Tom Club, and even Bruce Willis. In the Midnight Hour by Wilson Pickett was composed at the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, three years before the assassination of Martin Luther King. Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. I'm a Believer by The Monkees was released in 1966, although it became the biggest selling single of 1967. Waterloo Sunset by The Kinks is ranked number 14 on the Rolling Stones' 500 Greatest Songs of All Time. First recorded by Billy Joe Royal in 1967, Deep Purple released their version of Hush just a year later. Ever since I was a young boy, I've played the silver ball. He's a big ball. Timber Wizard by The Who was a top 10 hit in the UK, South Africa, New Zealand and Canada. Paranoid by Black Sabbath was a top 10 hit in multiple European countries, topping the Danish charts. Like a dog without a bone and actor out of Riders on the Storm by The Doors is the last song Jim Morrison recorded before his sudden death. <laughs> Tumbling Dice was on the Rolling Stones album Exile on Main Street. The world he left behind Not so long ago Leaving Leaving On that midnight train to Georgia 
Midnight Train to Georgia was the first single to top the Billboard Hot 100 for Gladys Knight and the Pips. Lady Marmalade by La Belle is another to have been covered plenty of times, with charting versions by Sabrina, All Saints and Moulin Rouge. It's just a silly face I'm going through. I'm Not In Love was the first single for Tennessee C to be a success outside of the UK. Guess who just got back today? The Boys Are Back In Town by Thin Lizzy was certified platinum in the UK. Just one look at you And I know it's gonna be A lovely day American singer Bill Withers topped the French charts in 1977 with Lovely Day Those days are over Roxanne by the Police was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 2008. American group The Whispers got to number two in the UK with And The Beat Goes On. It's not too late to whip it. Whip it good. Whip It was on the 1980 Devo album Freedom of Choice. Kim Khan's Betty Davis Eyes won the 1981 Grammy Awards for Song and Record of the Year. I'm so excited by the Pointer Sisters has been certified platinum in the UK and Denmark. Relax by Frankie Goes to Hollywood top charts in at least 10 different countries. Smooth Operator is the most successful single internationally for Sade. Baby, 
I'm Your Man performs well in the charts worldwide for Wham. Take My Breath Away by Berlin was on the soundtrack to the 1986 film Top Gun. Everywhere was on Fleetwood Mac's 14th studio album Tango in the Night. English group Find Young Cannibals top the charts worldwide, although not in the UK, with She Drives Me Crazy. British born American rapper Young MC topped the Australian charts with Buster Move. Although initially released in 1987, the 1990 re-release of It Must Have Been Loved by Roxette was a much bigger success. I'm so happy cause today from my friends Lithium was on Nirvana's 1991 album Nevermind. It also has over half a billion Spotify streams. American band Blind Melon topped the Canadian charts with no rain. <laughs> Cypress Hills Insane in the Brain has been certified three times platinum in the United States. Although first released in Spain and Italy in 1992, Wigfield then released Saturday Night to the rest of Europe in 1994 and the song went on to be a huge success. Don't Speak was included on No Doubt's 1995 album Tragic Kingdom. Space Man top charts in at least 10 European countries for Babylon Zoo. Chance and 
Too Much was the second consecutive UK Christmas number one for the Spice Girls. I know who I want to take me home. American band Semisonic included closing time on their 1998 album Feeling Strangely Fine. Just like Google Call Stock, you are inclined to make me rise an hour early, just like daylight savings time. Bad Touch was certified platinum in Australia, Sweden and the UK for the Bloodhound Gang. Papa Roach's last resort was on the soundtrack to the 2000 film Ready to Rumble. Never made it as a wise man. I couldn't cut it as a poor man stealing. How You Remind Me is considered to be the signature song for Canadian band Nickelback. Clocks was included on Coldplay's 2002 album A Rush of Blood to the Head. The Way You Move was a US Billboard number one for Outcast and Sleepy Brown. Broken has been certified platinum in Australia and the US for South African band Seether, alongside lead singer of Evanescence, Amy Lee. One Thing by Amory was on the soundtrack to the 2005 film Hitch. British DJ Mech released his successful remix of Leo Sayer's 1977 hit Thunder in My Heart. NCE has at least six references to Michael Jackson, who is an inspiration to French duo Justice. Womanizer are top charts in at least 12 countries for Britney Spears.
American band The Fray topped the Australian charts with You Found Me. Lady Gaga and Beyonce collaborated for the worldwide hit Telephone. Rope was included on the 2011 Foo Fighters album Wasting Light. Summertime Sadness has been certified platinum multiple times in at least eight countries for Lana Del Rey. Best song ever was included on the 2013 One Direction album Midnight Memories. Do you need me? Do you think I'm prepared? Do I make you feel like cheating? I'm like, no, not really. Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. Initially released by OMI in 2012, the Felix Jarn remix of Cheerleader two years later went on to be a huge worldwide hit. Take by the Ocean was the debut single for DNCE, which went on to be certified platinum in at least 15 countries. Heaven help a fool who falls in love. Ophelia, you've been on my mind, girl, since the flood. Ophelia by the Lumineers has over 1 billion streams on Spotify. Humble by Kendrick Lamar won awards for Best Rap Performance, Best Rap Song and Best Music Video for 2017. Weezer with their cover of Toto's 1982 song Africa. And snakes and stones never broke my bones, so. You Need to Calm Down was included on Taylor Swift's 2019 album Lover. Ava Max's Kings and Queens has lyrics that incorporates the message of women's empowerment. Put your love in hand I'm begging, begging you. Although 
Though initially released in 2017, after Maniskin won the 2021 Eurovision Song Contest, some of the band's other songs, including their cover of Begging, began to perform well in the charts. First Class by Jack Harlow went viral on TikTok before being released. The song also heavily samples Fergie's 2006 song, Glamorous. And ending with Ed Sheeran's Eyes Closed, which topped charts in the UK, Latvia and Canada. So that's the end of the 60 Years of Songs music quiz. Let me know in the comments which song used was your favourite and what your total score was. Thank you very much for playing along and I'll see you again soon for another squeeze.